Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will show you guys how to get the OpenBall Arcade emulator running on your PlayStation Vita. So there's only really one thing you need for this video, as well as HN Core installed, you will also need Adrenaline installed, because this only comes in PSP format. There isn't even a VPK format for this, even though it is actually updated probably about once or twice every year. So what you guys want to do is just open up Vita Shell, and then when Vita Shell loads, press select, connect your PS Vita to your PC, and I will show you guys what to do next. Okay guys, so over on your computer, I will leave links to everything you will need in the description. The first link would just be the GitHub page for the OpenBore Arcade Emulator. So just scroll down, you want to get this build and the 3.0 version. So just click on the zip file and that will begin downloading. Now while that's downloading, we actually just want to get some games for the emulator. So go to the second link and I will link all of these custom homebrew games that people have actually made for emulator. And some of these are actually really cool. So we've got like Castlevania games in here and there's Crisis, Doom. The one I want to get is Splatterhouse 2. So I'm just going to look for this. Um, I'm pretty sure it's right here on the list. So once you find your game, they're all pack files. Um, you can get as many games as you want, but I will show you how to get them working anyway. So find the game you want, right click it, go to download and just click on standard download. All the games are fairly small in size, as you can see they're all like megabytes. So this one is just going to start downloading now. So once the emulator and your games have finished downloading, you can head over to your PC's downloads folder. So here's the emulator itself. With that, all you want to do is go inside of the zip file, look for PSP because we will need to run this off the Adrenaline emulator, and we're just going to drag out OpenBore to our downloads folder. Next, you want to get your pack file and just drag it inside of the folder and then just drag it inside of the packs folder. Now you can only have one game inside of the packs folder at a time because it boots up the game as soon as you start the emulator. So if you wish to have more packs um, on your PSP and then you can just copy them across, you know, whenever you like using like some um, Vita shell or something, just copy them across. What you would do is just create a new folder, call it games or whatever you like, and then just keep all your packs in there because the packs that are inside the packs folder will boot up automatically. Back to our downloads folder, we need to copy the OpenBot emulator, go onto our PS Vita, make sure that hidden items are enabled. And now we're just looking for the PSP MU folder. Uh, which is this one right here. So go into there, go into PSP, and then just go into game, and then just go on right click and paste. Now it's just going to copy across our open ball folder from our downloads to our PS Vita's game file. So now we can go inside of it and as you can see it's just like that. So that is literally it for the PC. We can now disconnect our PS Vita and I will show you guys how to set it up. Okay, so back over on your PlayStation Vita, we can close out our Vita shell, and now we just want to open up the Adrenaline emulator. So once it starts up, just make sure you're on your game section, go onto your memory stick, and now it should come up. So it should look like this, um, you should be able to find it somewhere on your list. For me, it's at the top, so that's even easier, and you just want to press X to start it. So here's what I mean when I say it boots straight into the game. There's no sort of like, um, uh, like you know, screen for the game. There's no sort of like um, menu where you can browse through and select your ROMs. It just loads up the game straight away. That's why you can only have one game inside of the packs folder. But here we are on Splatterhouse. Apparently this is a really good game. I've, I've actually been meaning to play it for quite a while. So I'm just going to press start. Now on this emulator, you can actually go down and press X on options. Now you can start to change stuff. So on video options, we want to change the screen size. So we're going to change the screen to whatever we like really. Maybe this one's probably the best. I'm just going to go back. And the sound controls, we're going to leave those as it is and go back. And now we can go to start game and new game. And let's just do this one. So yeah, this does have, um, you know, working sound as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, I think we've got to choose a character. This one looks like Jason from Friday the 13th, so we're going to be him. Let's just turn up the sound a bit as well. So yeah, if you guys are into these arcade style games, um, 
like fairly kind of basic like beat em up games and stuff like that uh, this emulator is definitely for you it's actually pretty cool a lot of the games on here are actually quite difficult as well so um, i'm probably going to die really easily just like that but yeah they're all pretty, pretty good games loads of different ones and um, so many custom games like simpsons mega man um, final fantasy stuff as well and they're all like these um, kind of arcade style fighting games these are a lot better with arcade sticks obviously you can't do that on the ps vita but um you know they're still pretty cool so that is pretty much it for this video this is how you get open ball running on the ps vita and it actually runs really well and you can play all these really cool custom homebrew games so if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one